Okay, starting with uh, the general revision on unit one and two. Uh, the first question, complete the following. The number of well-known elements to now, how many? 118 elements. <clears throat> okay, so. So, Master, are you going to answer or we are going to answer? Again, we have, a, I didn't hear you well. What did you say? Hala? We're going to answer or? Uh, or, uh, or no, 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 I, I will, so I'll, I'll, I'll will go to answer, answer the, the following questions. But if you have misunderstanding or a problem in a question, just you can unmute yourself and ask whatever you want. Okay? If you want to join me, okay. it, it doesn't matter. What do you prefer? Huh? Okay. To answer with me or mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to answer all the question and if you have a misunderstanding part, you can unmute yourself. What do you prefer? I think to answer, I don't know. Hmm. Choose whatever you want. If you want to answer okay, with me. Can answer. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All metals elements are solid except, except one mercury which, thank you mercury which is while uh, the non-metal element which is liquid Brumine. also true okay thank you um, non-metals are likely to gain or lose electrons because it's non-metal more than four so they gain electrons gain electrons thank you okay why metals are likely to lose losing electrons okay losing electrons you're in the chemical reaction metal as we said before loses lose electrons and become rotons and become no become uh, ions ions positive or negative ions yeah positive ions thank you positive ions so we have uh, metal lose electro metals lose electrons and they become a positive mm -hmm. ions. okay why non metal gain electrons gains and become negative ions become negative The ionic compound uh, formed because of the combination between ionic between you can say uh, two two answers metals metals or non metals non -metals, or positive ions or negative ions or non metals or positive ion or negative ion here the the sixth question is talking about the ions the ionic bond result from the uh, you can say electric attraction or combination you have the right to write whatever you want electric attraction between what ion of course it will be negative and positive ion okay negative and positive ion ionic bond produces uh, ionic bond produces element or compound no, ionic between different metals, or oh, sorry, different elements, even they are metals and, and metals. So they form compounds. They cannot form elements. While covalent bond may be, they are similar non metals or different non metals. Elements or compounds. So they form elements or <clears throat> compounds. Okay. Uh, when two non-metals atoms are interacting each other, what the other atom with the same number of oh. what? When two non-metals, so this is covalent bond, are interacting yeah, each covalent. other, so they, they they do not lose or gain. They only 
huh? share. And each atom shares the other atom with the same number of electrons. This is the meaning of the bond. Okay, shares electrons. Shares electrons. Mm -hmm. uh, the covalent bond can be uh, classified into, of course, we have uh, three, ty uh, three types single and covalent and double covalent and triple, and triple covalent. Triple covalent bond. Okay, the molecule of the inert gas consists of inert gas. They do not react; they are inactive. Eight. Uh, I'm not talking about the electrons. I'm talking about the atoms. So, are they form? Uh, uh, sorry, do they form uh, uh, two atoms combined together? No, or three eight. or one? Of course, they are uh, individually atoms that found without any combination. Why? Because they are inactive. Yeah. It means they are inactive. completely filled, so they do not need any combination between each other. That's why the molecule of inert gas consists of only one atom. Okay? Why? Because it has a number of electrons that completely filled in the outer shell. Is monovalent, if you remember that, the valency, the number of electrons that lost or gained or even shared during the chemical reaction. So I have uh, uh, examples for mono, di, tri, and tetra, and so on, uh, these numbers. Uh, we have a lot of examples uh, related to the monovalent. Thank you. Excellent, dear. Uh, but we have easier than hydroxide uh, and nitrate, nine nitrate, and so on. Uh, choose elements. We have hydrogen, uh, we have lithium, sodium, potassium, okay, silver, chlor bromine, chlorine, iodine, fluorine, and so on. Okay, while uh, the one which is trivalent, phosphate. you can say phosphate. Do you remember that? <laughs> when I make every yeah, session. An oral exam about these uh, uh, valencies. Okay. Phos yeah, Alhamdulillah, I got the full mark. <laughs> Phosphate. Yeah, it's very important, I swear to God. This is very important for uh, the higher grade. Starting from grade 9 and 10 and 11 and so on. You, you should use this a lot in these uh, grades. So, uh, this is the basics of chemistry that you should know it. In grade 7, and to grow up, and you have these basics in grade 9 and the grade 10. Uh, the sour taste is a property of, we said before that acids have a sour taste. Okay? Yeah. While, and bases uh, bases, has a bitter taste. Bases, they have a bitter taste, uh, the opposite of uh, the sour. Okay, producing uh, negative hydroxide ions, which one produce the negative hydroxide ion? Of course, bases. Bases? Yes. When decomposing, decomposing the mean, uh, the same meaning of dissociate or dissociate in water. Okay, so bases produce negative hydroxide ion. This is the definition, if you remember that. Okay. Produce negative hydroxide okay. ions when dissociate in water, or you can say dissolving or decompose or uh, dissociate or anything else. Okay, okay, guys, we have uh, four participants. So would you join us? You can unmute yourself and uh, answer whatever you want, or if you have many many questions you will need to revise with me, you can unmute yourself also. Okay, we have uh, Jomana and so on, Berna. you can, okay. This is the equation that uh, unfortunately we don't have uh, a lot period of time in uh, the class, I didn't explain it in the class, uh, but uh, we have, the, this is the first video that I explained on YouTube, uh, the chemical equation is very important to you, you have maximum five or six equations that you should uh, have memorized 
um, the first one, magnesium, when I burn the magnesium in the presence of oxygen. So they form something called, you took it in grade six, magnesium oxide. And the symbol of magnesium oxide is MgO. Magnesium oxide. Oh. Okay, but is it a balanced equation? No. Why? Because here we have magnesium, one, and the oxygen is also one. And here in the reactants, we have two Mg and O2. So we have two from Mg and two from O2. Can I put any numbers here, subscripted uh, below uh, or beside Mg or O? I can't. No, they're going to go with each other. I can't because you are going to change the vanity and this is incorrect. But you can say I have two, sorry, two MgO. That means I have two Mg and two O. Okay? So now it's balanced. Why? Because the two Mg plus O2 give us two MgO. That means that the number of atoms here and the reactants and the products are the same. Okay. Of course, here I have carbon monoxide. Uh, when I burn in the presence of oxygen, they form carbon dioxide. And be sure that the two is subscripted. Okay? Like that. But is it a balanced equation? How many carbon here? Two. How many carbon? One. So I should put he two here. How many oxygen? Four. And how many oxygen here? I have one, two, and don't say three. I have four, because two is re uh, related to the carbon and oxygen as well. So I have here four oxygen atoms, and here four oxygen atoms as well. Mister, okay. I can't really understand this part. Okay, how many how many carbon atom oxygen atoms here? I have two. Am I right? So I have here two. Yeah. And how many oxygen here? Two also. One. No. Two. Yeah. Because this uh, number refers to or uh, the carbon and the oxygen. So how many oxygen? Two, and two. So the total in the reactants how many? Four. Okay. How many oxygen here? Don't say two. Two. I have two multiply two so it equals. Yeah. Four. Four. Okay, and how many carbon? Two. Okay. That's why that, that the same amount of oxygen here, four, and I have here four also. Okay, and the carbon is two. Okay, and here carbon is two also. You should balance the equation because uh, to make it uh, in a correct way uh, before. Uh, you write any compound, you, you should balance the equation. Okay, do you have any question in this part? No. Jumana, you can ask whatever you want. You, did you raise your hand? No, I didn't. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ask. Uh, I have number uh, 14, Tani. Number 14. I have magnesium burns in mm -hmm. the presence of oxygen. Okay. So the compound that resulted or the product from burning magnesium in oxygen form MgO. Okay. Yeah. Which is magnesium yeah. oxide. Why we put two here? Because I have two Mg and O2. So I have two from Mg and two from O. But I can't put here two beside the, the magnesium or two beside the oxygen. Do you know why? I can't make like that uh, Mg2, O2. I can't make that. <laughs> why? Because now you change it the valency. You change it the, the, you can't write the chemical formula correctly because you change the valency of magnesium and the oxygen. So this is wrong. If you want to put a number to make the equation balanced, you should put this number before the compound.
like 2MGO, okay? Okay. Did you understand it? Uh, As I said, I have one liter of uh, milk, okay? One liter. I have two liters of milk. So it is the same. It's logic, uh, logic to say that. I have MGO. Now I have two MGO. So is it right? Yes. But instead of have, have one compound, you have two compounds. Two MGO. But if you say I have MG2O2, this is wrong. Do not change the numbers beside or below the uh, symbols that you have because you are going to change the balance. If you want to add numbers, add it before. Okay? Not subscriptive. This is very important. Okay? Okay. Uh, choose the correct answer. Uh, the number of well known elements uh, till now is how many? 118. 118. 118. Uh, all the following elements don't have luster, so they are non metals except one okay. which is mercury. Except, except, Mer except. Yeah, yeah, sure. All the following elements can turn into a negative ion. You have two choices here. Uh, he's, uh, he asking about a negative ion except. So you are going to make the electron configuration. 17, 287, non-metal. Phosphorus, 285, non-metal. 16, 286, so non-metal. The last one, 2881. So it's a metal. So the only potassium. one which is metal here is potassium. Or as I said before in the class, you should memorize the non-metals because they are very easy to memorize, to be memorized. Sulfur, phosphorus, chlorine, bromine, fluorine, uh, iodine, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. This is all, almost the all non-metals that you should know. Okay? Uh, NaOH is from, I have OH, not H, Acid. so it will be PACE, from PACES, because it Basis. has OH, okay? Acids means starting with H, like HCl, HNO3, H2SO4, yeah. but with, when it ends with OH, so this is PACES, okay? <clears throat> All of the following are non-metals except, as we said before, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. They are non-metals. The only one which is sodium. metal, sodium. Thank you. Thank you. The outermost energy levels of what are completely saturated with the electron? All the briefs. Noble gases. No. All the briefs. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you know why? We said that the... the uh, Guys, mute yourself if you please. And uh, we said that the only one, uh, the the elements that they are completely filled with electrons will be noble gas. But here he didn't say metals and non-metals. He said metal ions and non-metal ions. And the meaning of the word ion that it will it becomes a completely filled with electrons. Okay. Why? Because it lost or gained. So it becomes 28, 288, okay, and so on. So when the metal and non-metal loses or gain electrons, so they become completely saturated with electrons in the outermost energy level as the noble gases. Okay, so all the previous are completely saturated with electrons. The covalent bond exists between non-metals. Elam, okay? Yeah. But it's non metal, so no, yes. no correct answer or no non metals non covalent bond between two non metals. Yeah, it's non metals, but it's written non metal, so I elements supposed to understand this that's non metals, yes, non metal elements. Okay, yeah, okay. The ionic bond exists between a metal and a metal and non metal, non -metal. okay. The single covalent bond, of course, single, so each one shares with one electron, okay? A nitrogen molecule, each atom shares with three electrons, three electrons. Why? Because uh, uh, in, this, in the exam, I will give you the number, 
like when I say that the atomic number of uh, nitrogen is seven. Okay, that's why when you make a, an electron configuration, so it will be two five, two five. So it needs to gain three electrons. That's why it shares with three electrons. Okay. The valence of the neon gas uh, is neon, helium, argon, xenon, radon, krypton. All of uh, these gases belong to inert gases. So there is no yeah. fantasy for the inert gases. Okay. They, they do not lose or gain electrons. That's why the valency of them is zero. Okay. All of the following are monovalent atomic groups except nitrate, yes, hydroxide, bicarbonate, yeah. phosphate, no, try the last one. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, the compound Al2O3 showed the aluminum is okay. If you want to know the aluminum valency, return it back the number before the cross multiplication. You know that we are going to make a cross multiplication. Uh, so the aluminum takes the two from the oxygen because it's bivalent. And the oxygen takes the three from aluminum, which is trivalent. So change it again to get the number of aluminum. So the aluminum here is trivalent. Okay. okay. Dissociate in water and producing hydroxide. Paces. Paces. H two CO three starting with H, so it will be acids. Acids. The gas which causes headache, fainting, and stomach uh, stomach ache is the carbon monoxide. This is the negative effect of carbon monoxide. Okay. Carbon monoxide. Uh, carbon monoxide may. Um, uh, Causes headache, fainting, and stomach ache. Carbon dioxide causes global warming. Okay. Sulfur oxides causes respiratory malfunction, means breathing problems, and building corrosion. The last one, nitrogen oxides, they harm the nervous system and the eye. Okay. This is the negative effect of gases at the last part in uh, unit uh, one, the third lesson. Okay, maybe we have uh, this uh, part, right, the scientific term. This is the last part that we are going to answer uh, because we have a limited uh, time. Sorry for it. Okay. Okay. Tell me the elements which uh, which their outermost contains less than four. Metals. Metals. Elements have luster. Metals. Metals. Elements ductile Metals. and malleable. Metals. Metals. Okay, hold on. Elements which their Metals. outer. Okay, okay, listen to me. I didn't read the question yet. Elements which their outermost level contains more than four. None metals do not have lusters luster sorry non metal aren't ductile or malleable non metals non metals gains one electron or more but negative ion okay you yeah, asking about the atom type number okay. seven Number seven, uh, he didn't tell me the elements that gains electrons. If he said elements that gains electrons, uh, that, uh, which gain electrons, one or more electrons, so it will be non-metal. Okay? But he asking about okay. atom which gain one or more electrons. So this is the atom of non-metal, but when the atom gains or uh, one or more electrons, so they form and negative ions. Okay, this is the definition of ion, positive ion and negative ion. Okay. okay. Positive ion here because it gains electrons. Okay. 
a chemical bond which occurs between metals and non-metals, metal and non-metal, ionic. Non -metal, ionic. Okay. Elements which their outer shell are filled with electrons filled, so and there will be NRT, inactive uh, noble gases, you can write whatever you want. The number of electrons that an atom gains, loses, or even shares during the chemical reaction, I this am? is the definition of valency. Valence? Number of electrons that lost or gained or even shared during the chemical reaction. Okay. A set of joined to, uh, atoms together, conduction that behavior and one atom having its own valency and doesn't exist solely. This is the meaning of uh, the atomic group, the definition of atomic group. Okay. okay. Material that dissolves in water, producing positive hydrogen acids. Acid. Material that dissolves in water producing negative hydroxide bases. Bases. Breaking of existing bond in the reactants and forming new chemical bond in the product. It will be chemical reaction. You are going to take this definition again in grade nine, the second term shot. Okay, the set of symbols and chemical formula representing the reactants, the product, and the condition. This is the last session that I explained in the class, the chemical equation, the chemical equation. Okay. Uh, the last one, the bond resulting from the electric attraction Electric um, attraction, so it will be ionic bond. Okay, guys. So I, I think that I revised all the uh, the question in unit one. We still have.